Okay, I'm yeah. going to talk on the point of doctrinal change, and this is something that what? Nettie perhaps can contribute on, and it's the change of Russian formations in the sector to divisions. Like, they abandoned the concept of the mobile battle group, BTG. That, the BTG, and they moved to divisions, back to something that they were using in World War II. Because well, they it, are very effective autonomous units. Now, Mehdi, if you could. Yeah. The Russians, first of all, are always modifying their forces. Just because they went into mobile tactical groups where the command was actually at, where they were actually making the change decisions to change on the battlefield, mostly, is it was they went to the MTGs. But it, it reflects the type of fighting they're due. If you read about it in the... the uh, that, the Russian way of war is that they there's nothing to prevent them from flowing through these objects, getting enough room where between these units to maneuver, and then they go back into a mobile battle group 20, 20 miles wide, 60 miles deep, like a lawnmower. There's nothing that's that's why this really uh, this this Ukrainian offense just it, it, it kind of drives me crazy because they ain't if if they use their reserve to be able to, to fortify failure in what was once known as Bakhmut and then trying these PR attacks, there's nothing to stop the Russians to just forming up like that and moving forward. The only thing they could worry about is maybe NATO getting aggressive, but you know what? Those forces are designed to travel with their layered air defense with them. So go ahead, NATO. You know, it's not... It, it totally changes, you know, the yeah. whole, it changes everything. That's one yeah, of the big changes that's, that's happened <laughs> that's happened recently is that uh, Russia Russia used to kind of organize its its uh, its forces within the battalion tactical group format, uh, which was sort of a if I remember correctly something like a two thousand to five thousand person sort of a great for great strength um, uh, a unit, uh, but but recently uh, as far as I understand they've kind of reorganized their army into uh, division strength units where those divisions are sort of the main units and that's important because those divisions divisions have, uh, have integrated air defense within the divisions, which the battalion tactical groups did not. I think that's a very, very important point. Yeah, those divisions actually, uh, one second, those divisions actually in rush, they call them something different. They're, they're like divisions, but they're not. It begins with a S E Y. I I can't remember it. I'll look it up right here beside me. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, I'm just, <clears throat> I was going to say something real quick. Like, like if you look at Wagner, uh, I was reading one of their things about their comparisons between them and the regular Russians. They, they, they state specifically that you know in the in the combat zone that you'll have a conditional regimental commander in the adjacent trench, and two trenches back you'll have a a conditional divisional commander, and those guys will run the operation and. From those guys, they have complete support. No bureaucracy. Whatever they need, they need. They can get. So, I mean, it's just another way that they've adapted quickly and changed things. And I mean, I didn't know that. I mean, you know, they have the com detachment commanders, which are all their veteran guys that move up. But apparently, they have a, a more complex chain of command to probably just to facilitate the support and make sure things get done. You know. I'm going to butcher, uh, I'm, I, I found the word, I, I'm going to butcher it, I do not speak Russian at all, and I'm sorry to all the people who know Russian, and I will hurt their ears, but it's called a, a soya denini, <laughs> I, a what now? But that, it, <laughs> yeah, it, it's not like, yeah, it's something like that, it's, it's different, it, it kind of lines up with our division, but it's actually different, and and, you know, the Russians seem to go wherever the best command and control structure will be for what the, what's opposing them at that moment. You know, that's the thing is like the mobile tactical groups can be considered subunits of the mobile battle group as they're encountering front lines like this. What happens once they clear them? Do they go? Will they change? They could. Right. We, we don't know. I, I don't know. I'm not, a, you know, 
not in Russian military operational command, but it doesn't always line up with what we expect. 